Welcome. Today we're going to look at Obsidian and specifically focus mode plugins. Plugins that are designed to help you focus on what you're writing, what you're doing, and cut out some of the distractions that can be around you in the application. Before we do that, a few ways you can support the channel. You can take my Obsidian course. If you go to curtismichael.ca slash education, you'll find it there, or you can become a member, get all my courses, curtismichael.ca slash membership. Buckle up, let's look at a number of focus plugins for Obsidian. Okay, so we're just going to use the script here to look at the full screen focus mode plugins, or all of them. The first we're going to look at is full screen focus mode. So we'll get that by going into our settings. If I didn't have this installed, which I already do, I would actually come in here and I'd put in full screen because that's what I was looking for. I click this. This will say install instead of in uninstall or enable, and then I would do that. So now I can come here because I already have it installed, and I go full screen focus mode because that's what I'm looking for. Turn it on, and I have full screen focus mode. So this one really just does this. If I type full screen focus mode, and you can see I have the uh, the command palette, I have it activated, and I'll do that, and it just goes full screen focus mode. And if I hit escape, it comes back out of it. That's all this one does. It doesn't do anything else. It doesn't like highlight a line or anything like that. So this one I don't love. I'm not sure that I need it. This is like a native Mac feature anyways, except for hiding the one panel that you saw it hide my left sidebar. So it doesn't do that Mac OS natively, but if you're on Windows, I'm actually not sure if Windows does that, then it could be one that you would look at in combination with some of the other ones we're gonna talk about. And next up, we'll turn on the focus mode plugin. And this one here has a couple keyboard commands you can see, it has a command or control Z and a command a control option Z, toggle super focus mode, which toggles the sidebar. So I'll activate this from the command palette. So we'll go focus again. We have a toggle focus mode, which hides the panel. And I think we hit escape again. No, I want to toggle it again. Focus brings my panel back. That's good. This will actually hide multiple other panels and really just keep on the single active panel. The other one to do is um, super focus mode. So we'll go focus. So we'll really, sorry, this one would actually just do the active pane only. So focus, let's turn it off. Let's split vertically and open up uh, anything else. Let's just open up my writing Kanban board. There you go. So I have another one. So now if I go to focus, super focus, shut all the other ones. And if we toggle it again, focus, there you go. We get them back. We did not get our sidebar this time though. So we can do that also with the mouse. So another one that is okay, useful, but not really what I was looking for in a focus mode plugin. I want to be able to see the lines and highlight those lines. So that's what we're gonna get in our next one, which is Ghost Fade Focus. We'll open up that and we'll go back into Focus, turn off Focus Mode, and turn on Ghost Fade Focus. So this one does more what I was looking. You can see it's already activated. So you can see it's highlighting the main line that I'm working on, and then it actually fades the lines above and below so that they're not in focus. So if we go to Ghost, go to today's Focus, we can toggle it off or on. We can toggle it off, back to normal or ghost, toggle it back on. And so this, as I'm writing, will focus. You can see it just switches my focus or what's highlighted, what's more obvious text for me as I go up and down my written content, which is more like what I was looking for. Now there's another one called still, which is very similar to that. So let's open up this and we'll turn off ghost, ghost fade focus right there. And then we'll turn on still. That's how I'd say it. Okay. Still is now on, and we will come back in here and we'll go still, toggle still. Just that's it, one command, toggle still. So this one highlights the paragraph or the line, kind of the block that you're working on. So as I was writing, it would highlight the paragraph for me, which is useful. This is kind of what I was looking for um, in a focus mode plugin, something that's gonna focus on the writing I'm actually looking at. Ghost Fade is pretty good. This is a little bit more what I was expecting, although I think Ghost Fade does an effective job as well. See, it focuses on that line, focuses on this paragraph, that's good. I believe this one actually has a few settings to it too. So you can change the opacity right here. So this is of the faded text as well. If you want to make that fade more, you can change this number. So 0.3, so 30%, you can change it down to 0.2. And then my text will fade a little more. So it just goes into the background a little more. Also pretty good. So let's toggle it back off because the last one, typewriter scroll, is the one that I really think fits what I was looking for. And it definitely seems like the one that is the best to me. So let's turn off still. Let's turn on typewriter scroll. So this one actually also has some settings. Typewriter scroll, 
It has a uh, toggle. This is just kind of the off on settings, I guess. So we turn on typewriter scroll and turn on Zen mode. So what does that do? So typewriter scroll, let's turn that on. Typewriter scroll on off. That actually means that it's gonna keep my cursor in the center of my screen as I type up and down, which is more like what I was looking for. And if we type, turn on the Zen mode, it's going to do what the other ones were doing for focus plugins. It's going to highlight the line of text that I'm currently on, the block that I'm currently in, while also keeping it in typewriter mode. And that's more like what I was looking for in my focus mode plugins. Now, one big caveat on all of these is they don't support mobile devices. So I can't use any of them on my iPad, unfortunately. And I do a lot of my writing on my iPad, so I'd actually prefer it to be there. Now, some of them, like the first two I showed off that take your app full screen, aren't really needed on iOS because it's already full screen there. But the typewriter scroll, the ghost fade focus, and still those are three that I'd love to see ported over to mobile. And there actually is an outstanding ticket on typewriter scroll for that. So I've already offered to pay the developer and they haven't got back to me. I said, I will help pay for this feature. How much will it be? And I would love to see that supported on mobile so that we can have a good typewriter scroll and a good focus mode on your mobile devices. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up below, subscribe, hit the bell. YouTube will let you know something happened. Or you can take one of my courses if you want to support the channel. You can go to curtismichael.ca slash education. There's an Obsidian course, there's a Zettelcasting course, there's a few other things. Or you can go to curtismichael.ca slash membership, where you, with becoming a member, gets you all the courses and a newsletter. And my eternal gratitude, I'll give you a big hug if you ever, you know, come up to Prince George where I'm moving in a few weeks. That's it. Have a good one.